Look at this, look at this, a grey-headed bushrike. Now there's a couple of them calling in the distance, but this is one that we don't often get to see. We hear it, all of you know, especially those of you who've been watching for quite some time will know that it is known as the ghost bird, the spork fool, because of its beautiful eerie call that it often lets out in the early mornings. And there's a couple of them. This is probably the first morning I've had where the most common sound has actually been the gray-headed bush shrikes. Now, I know it's quite difficult to see it because of that branch that's, well, positioned in the perfect spot. But there we go. You can see its bright yellow eye and its dark gray head with a little bit of yellow underneath its throat too. They really and truly are gorgeous birds. Now, we've had to stop a little bit away because they're so skittish. Let's see if we go forward. We might get it again. I think it's actually hot now. It's a more open, uh, a more open area. Let's see. I'm going to try and roll, though. I just hope that I have enough momentum to roll and get into the perfect position. He's just in here. I wonder if he's realized that he's been spotted just yet. No, I think he's already taken off. I just see that the one branch is bouncing about a little bit where he was sitting. Wait, wait, he's here. I'm gonna show you. I think he's gone up here into this tree. I can hear him going. Let's just check. There he is, he's, do you see where he's hopping? Um, in there. There we go, you on him? Zoom straight in, there he's jumping around. Let's see if he's going to come out. Listen very carefully too to this beautiful call that he's starting to make. We'll watch and see where he jumps out. Oh, he stopped. Hey, you can see the, just see the leaves bouncing around. Come on, show yourself. There we go, up to the right, uh, up to the left, sorry. He just hopped. I can see him, um, if we zoom out just a little bit, because I can see him. I'm just trying to find his bright... So camouflage, he's in there. Can you hear him? That's me. There he is. Oh, there we go. Now we've got a perfect view. There's that patience. Look how beautiful that orange breast is too. Now, they can often get con Oh, there we go, in the lovely light. Perfect, thank you very much, gray-headed bushrike. Now, often these birds can get confused quite easily with the orange-breasted bushrike. Ah, oh. Kirk, you've said that this bird is number 65. Well, congratulations, and Carter, if you're watching, I hope you've added this bird to your list. Carter's my young friend who has just started a bird list. So this is quite exciting. Like I said, it's not one we get to see all the time. It's beautiful. But the orange-breasted bushrike, as I was saying, easily confused with the grey-headed bushrike. They're much smaller in size, a lot more sort of petite, if I can. And uh, they've got a very, very orange breast. And there's actually two of them. Listen. How great was that? Isn't that amazing? Listen to that clicking sound. Look at that sort of clattering its bill and I love the way that it arches its head when it does it. That deep sort of call. Now they're relatively territorial, these birds too, so I wonder if the other one was not a... Hang on, there's another bird. Do you think it's another one? If you go up and to the left from where that bird is, there's one sitting out into the open. Might have to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Look at that, there's two of them. Well, they've just hopped on either side. You can see there's one on the left and then one on the right bouncing about. And they're so graceful the way that they move in the trees for being such a sort of plump bird too. Oh, this is great.